a second grade substitute teacher, and I like my job very much. Though I'm hoping to work on child psychology research in the future. Because of that, I like to give kids assignments that will allow me to get a glimpse into their minds, and how they interpret the world and how much they understand of everything. Yesterday, I bought all types of art utensils to class, which made them very excited. It was hard to keep them from drawing and painting on the papers in front of them right away, but I managed to calm them down enough to tell them their assignment. I want you to draw a monster, I told them. You can use anything you want, but make sure you put everything you used back where you found it after you're finished. They were having the times of their lives, which meant they took quite a while to finish. I was hoping to ask them to present their artwork at the end of class, but there was no time, so I just asked them to put their work on my desk on the way out. I only got a chance to look at the drawings when I got home at night. I was very happy to see how creative they were, and how quite a few works were impressively artistic for their age. Some of the kids painted monsters from Monsters, Inc. Others drew your average vampires, Frankenstein monsters, and werewolves. Some were cute pet monsters. Others were funny. A handful drew scarier things like Cinderman and the Babadook and the devil-like thing from Insidious, which were a bit concerning. I made a note to talk to these kids' parents about what type of movies and games they were letting their kids watch and play. But only one of those paintings was so terrifying that it made my heart skip a beat and sent shivers down my spine. It was a painting of an ordinary man, carrying a suitcase and wearing a tie. Next to the man were the words written in red, Dad. <laughs>